After the Dipset rapper got into a fight at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport over the weekend, 50 Cent made comments about Jim Jones. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. On Saturday TMZ released footage of the encounter, in which Jones is seen thwarting two guys while using an escalator. They all throw hands in the video until security intervenes to break things up. In a statement, he said to the outlet, I was minding my business and defended myself. They got what they were looking for. He further confirmed to his fans that he's okay in a since deleted post on Instagram. To all my family I am good love y'all way to many calls and texts to reply to God is good, he said. I'm eight, I gotta get dressed for this party, man. I'll be right with y'all. Promise you, promise you, I'm eight. The 78-year-old fighter is shown in a video that 50 posted on Instagram on Sunday. Along with the message, yo the old man from the airport said he gonna see you Jimmy. Sweet, stop thinking ST. LOL. Somebody wanna fight with my yeah. <laughs> In response to Stevie J's latest request to spar with him, 50 Cent posted a video on social media. <laughs> he boasts in the video that he is still sharp in combat and makes light of the fact that Stevie would probably have trouble getting past security. I hope you get back to security. Many users picked 50 in the possible showdown. If people did their research on 50 he actually a golden gloves boxer, one user wrote. Another added, y'all mad at 50 for what? A boss doesn't gotta fight when he has his people he came a long way. I hope you get back to security. <laughs> Many celebs have been discussing Diddy on the internet this week. That's because the feds raided two of his properties at the beginning of this week. They disclosed that the raids were related to claims of sex trafficking. That was only a few weeks after the rap mogul was accused of having sex with other male singers and celebrities, such as Stevie J, in a lawsuit brought by Lil Rod. That one element turned into one of the Diddy Saga's most talked about details overall. Although many people have been rushing to express their opinions lately, 50 Cent has been discussing Diddy almost nonstop for months. 50 has been speaking since Cassie's initial lawsuit from the previous year, which broke the chain of allegations against the rap mogul. He was attempting to come up with fresh ways to take shots at Diddy, posting on Instagram almost every day. That has, predictably, never really slowed down and has accelerated dramatically in recent days. However, he might have gone too far with one specific post that infuriated Stevie J. Curtis, what's good, man? You and your feelings about Daphne? And even provoked a threat in return. Stevie J responded with a clap after noticing that 50 had included him in accusations of grooming. She would gang them, or is it that you sucking little rod dick? He confronted the rapper head on in a video that he posted. Without hesitation, he declares that he wants to face him in a live, broadcast fight. I want you to fade, nigga. Fuck all that. Since Stevie says that in light of the rapper's most recent accusations, he wants to shoot the fade with him. Let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Then, he makes it quite evident that he has the confidence to not only initiate but also prevail in the fight. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you wanna do, Curtis? After his son's mother accused him of raping her in public, 50 Cent is going to war with her. He claims Daphne Joy's accusations are baseless and are solely meant as payback for him requesting full custody. One of the claims filed against Diddy has a direct connection to the ongoing drama involving Daphne, the mother of 12-year-old Sire, and 50. As we previously reported, 50 Cent was promptly alerted to Rodney Jones' latest addition to the lawsuit, which asserted Daphne was a sex worker for the bad boy entrepreneur. After 50 reacted on Instagram by posting, I didn't know you was a sex worker, you little sex worker. LOL Daphne lit him up with a post of her own, saying let's put the real focus on your true evil actions of raping me and physically abusing me. Now, 50 claims the disturbing allegations in the sworn pleadings recently filed in a court case related to Daphne Joy the mother of my 12-year-old child, has required me to take all necessary legal actions to protect my son sire. He continues, the most recent false and baseless accusations by Daphne Joy are clearly in response to my decision to seek sole custody of my son. My son sire is my main priority and keeping him in a safe environment is my only focus at this time. Naturally, 50 has been cruelly making fun of Diddy ever since Cassie brought a lawsuit against her former partner, and he hasn't stopped this week following the government raids on Diddy's residences. Although it's unclear what Diddy and Daphne's current relationship status is, they have previously been romantically linked, which doesn't seem to sit well with 50. He pursued her once more on Thursday afternoon, tweeting a picture of her with Diddy along with a remark that accused her of receiving money from Diddy, and reiterated the accusation that she is a little sex worker. For the record, Daphne has said, the claim that I am a sex worker is 100% false and character assassination. I am retaining an attorney to explore all legal remedies against both Rodney and his attorney. There is now a potential child custody dispute, therefore her attorney will probably be going up against 50 cents attorneys as well.
Despite the most recent development in the Diddy allegations a federal raid on his houses in Miami, California, and New York as part of an investigation into sex trafficking 50 Cent is far from done taunting. In addition, they have been at odds for a considerable amount of time. However earlier it was more of a friendly competition between two hip-hop moguls. With the public's attention focused more than ever on these unverified rumors about Sean Combs, the G-Unit rapper is more than willing to regularly prank, and trot him, whether in a serious or nonsensical manner. One of his recent Instagram posts, for instance, also brings up one of his previous feuds with the elite rap scene in the Big Apple. Anybody seen Jay? LOL Puff said the ain't answering his phone. LOL, 50 Cent captioned a picture of a Jay-Z missing ad on a carton of milk. Naturally, this is by no means the only joke he's made regarding Diddy's accusations. In fact, his jokes got much funnier after hearing about this raid. While some admirers never fail to laugh at Fifth's pranks on Instagram, others are more circumspect while participating in these conversations on a far more serious subject. Though we doubt he will be the one, perhaps other well-known figures in the industry will offer a more grave analysis of this in the future. Moreover, this also has a connection to 50 Cent's well-documented falling out with Jay-Z, which isn't exactly a very heated hip-hop feud either. These moguls interact with each other in a way that is fiercely competitive, something that the former has always defended against Hav and Puff. In the big picture, the Queen's native is also far more combative and doesn't hesitate to incite controversy online in an attempt to irritate others. To be honest, the Rock Nation CEO is silent about almost anything these days, so this does serve as a reminder that he is still mute regarding the Diddy problem. According to reports, federal law enforcement officers searched Diddy's residences in Miami and Los Angeles on Monday as part of an investigation into the multiple charges of sex trafficking he has faced recently. Southern District of New York is the case's primary location, according to a police source cited by TMZ. Social media users are sharing aerial video of the incident that Fox 11 captured. Justin and King Combs, Diddy's sons, appear to be handcuffed in the video. It's unknown if Diddy was present on the property. Earlier today, Homeland Security Investigations New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation, with assistance from HS HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. That note, keep checking back for the most recent Diddy news and updates. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.